Hey. Community organizer Juan Plaza and the writer Brian Rashid meet months after Rashid wrote a love letter thanking Plaza for his 35 years of helping so many New Yorkers. It was amazing. It was something that I never expected. Love Letters to the World is a project Rashid started in 2020 with a thank you letter to the people of Uruguay for their hospitality during the seven months he stayed in the country during the global pandemic. The letter went viral. From that moment, he decided he would thank the people he met around the world. In June of 2022, he penned his gratitude to his city. I think New York is full of people that are extraordinary, that are everyday heroes, that are full of hope and optimism and positivity, and being able to capture their stories and share their stories with the world is truly something that I'm very passionate about. He thanked Juan Plaza, who arrived from Colombia in 1987. After years of working in a store and as a street vendor, he became the first Latino forensic investigator at the Supreme Court in Queens. New York is everything for me because this is the city where my, my dreams came through. Bonito y... For 25 years, Plaza investigated hundreds of cases of New Yorkers who died without a will. It is the most important document you will ever write. From this work, his mission was born. He began telling immigrants about the importance of filing your will and sharing your last testimony. You know, life is so short, and I try to make, uh, make them understand my message. With his mission, Plaza has inspired many of his immigrant friends who send him thank you messages daily. Now retired, he continues motivating people by writing magazine articles to the Latino communities across the country. When there's a will, there's a way, always. And we can never stop dreaming because if you stop dreaming, you stop living. To Brian, thanking Plaza for his life in New York is a message of hope for all New Yorkers. Wherever you live and whatever you do, there is beauty in front of you right now if you open your eyes and your heart to see what that looks like. In Queens, Angie Hernandez, New York One.